Okay, now let's go to the motherhood. Vamos a, a la parte de la de ser madre. You know, when I was pregnant, I went to the hospital to have my prenatal care. Cuando yo estaba embarazada, yo fui al, al hospital a que me atendieran. And my first visit. Y mi primer visita prenatal. Everything went fine, and after the visit, I went to the place, the reception area. Cuando cuando terminé con mi visita, fui a la recepción. And I said, okay, so how much how much is this visit? How much y, is it charged? ¿Cuánto me van a cobrar? And they said, oh, it's, it's free. Es gratis. And I said, I don't, I don't have to pay anything. No tengo que pagar nada. No, no, as a matter of fact, here, take this. No, de hecho, toma esto. And they gave me a little box. Y me dieron una caja. And inside the box, y en esa caja, there was a little book about being pregnant. Había un libro acerca del embarazo. There was a nice little um, scarf for a, a female, a beautiful scarf. Había una bufanda para una para mujer. Some lipstick. Había lipstick. And chocolates. Y chocolates. So not only did I not have to pay, they even <laughs> gave me a gift. Ni siquiera tenía que pagar, me dieron un regalo. I said, hey, that's pretty great. Hey, está muy bien aquí. <laughs> so I didn't have to pay for any of my prenatal care No tuve que pagar un centavo por nada de mi cuidado prenatal. And not only that, when I went into the hospital, and the, and the picture that you see here is a Norwegian hospital. Cuando fui al hospital, esta, esta imagen es de un hospital. Um, I didn't pay anything to have my child no, there. No pagué nada por tener mi niño. I stayed there for four days me in quedé the hospital. Días. Um, my husband stayed with me the first night. La noche, mi se quedó conmigo. They attended me. They took Talitha whenever she cried. They just were very good to me. Um, atendían muy bien, cuidaban a Talitha y todo. And I didn't pay anything. Y no pagué nada. In fact, they gave me money when she was de born. De hecho, me pagaron cuando tuve el bebé. About three thousand dollars. Como tres mil dólares. How do you like that? ¿Cómo les gusta eso? <laughs> How about if we move to Norway? Vamos a mover a Noruega. So after Talitha was born, I was at the home, and they have a system there that there was somebody they call it a health assistant. Y hay un sistema en la cual hay una persona que se llama el health assistant. Who comes to my? Who came to my home? Que viene a mi casa. To make sure that I was fine, the baby yo, was fine. Que yo estaba bien, que mi bebé estaba bien. She probably stayed there for about an hour and a half. Se quedó conmigo como una hora y media. If I had any questions, I could ask them. She helped me out on everything you need to know about being a new mother. Y me ayudó en todo lo que tiene que ver con ser una nueva madre. And after that visit, I would go to her office, which was pretty near. Y después mm -hmm. yo iba a la oficina que estaba cercana. Every month. Cada mes. And all of this was free. Y todo esto era gratis. And in addition to that, y aparte, um, I was paid for a full year for staying at home with Talitha. Me pagaban, me pagaran por todo un año por quedarme en casa con Talitha. Whatever I was making before Talitha was born, And I made that year. Lo que yo estaba ganando antes de tener bebé, me pagaban ese año. And after that year, y de ese año, when if I chose to stay home with Talitha, si yo escogía quedarme en casa con Talitha, instead of sending her to daycare, en lugar de mandarla que la cuidaran, they would give me money, me daban el dinero, that they that I would use for daycare, que ellos pagarían por el por la guardería. So I actually got paid to stay at home. Así que, me, que literalmente me pagaban por quedarme en casa. And this is the life of a Norwegian y esta mother. Es la, la, la vida de un noruego, de doesn't, una doesn't that sound like a life of blessings? <laughs> <laughs> no, no suena como grandes bendiciones. Okay, now let's, let's go to the other extreme. Vayamos al otro well, extremo. We just have a few more pictures of Norway. This is, a, they call it a rus. Este es un, un rus. And it's when the students are about to graduate from high school. Cuando están a punto de graduarse lo, de la preparatoria. Like around this time of year, because the National Day, remember I said, is May 17th. Porque el día nacional es mayo 17. That when they have this parade, all the young people who are about to graduate dress up like this. Todos los que se van a graduar se visten así. And they have different, they have red, black, and blue that they wear. Y tienen azul, rojo, y negro. Depending on what they're going to study. Dependiendo qué es lo que van a estudiar. And they go through the parade, bouncing and jumping up and down and giving out little cards to kids. Y les dan, le dan tarjetas a los niños. And here's some young Norwegians in their national costumes. Aquí están otras con sus trajes nacionales. 
And here, oh, this is another thing very interesting about Norway. This oh, is a, a policeman. Es un um, and in Norway, en Noruega, the men and the female are on the same level. Los hombres y las mujeres están como el mismo nivel. And even in their thoughts. Aún en sus pensamientos. Uh, even in the United States, it's probably more than here in Mexico, but still there's a difference between men and women. Y aún en los Estados Unidos, aunque las cosas son un poquito más diferentes aquí de México, pero de todas formas hay una diferencia entre los dos. But there mujeres. it's the same. Pero ya es lo mismo. And you know, I kind of grew up with the idea of chivalry. Y yo crecí con la idea de caballerismo. Where the man would open the door for the female. La abra la, 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 la If there was something heavy, the men would offer to carry it. Que si hay algo pesado, que el hombre cargue. And when we were in Norway, en Noruega, there was these girls carrying these big heavy boxes. Están estas muchachas cargando estas cajas pesadas. And these guys just sitting back as if nothing was estos happening. Estos muchachos ahí nada más mirando como si nada estuviera pasando. It's like, get up, help them, help them. <laughs> But the women, they think totally different. They're just the very same diferente. level. And for this, there's a no lot más. of women in Norway that have jobs that a lot of men usually have. Y entonces por esa razón en Noruega muchas mujeres tienen trabajos que los varones usualmente tienen. ¿verdad? Okay, here we are in Africa, the other extreme. Vayamos al otro extremo, a África. Africa is below the equator. África está abajo del well, Ecuador. En well, este, we en were este in Tanzania. Estábamos en Tanzania. And this, um, instead of seeing, you know, cow crossing, you see elephant crossing. <laughs> en lugar de ver por aquí pasan los caballos o las vacas, elefantes. Be careful with the elephants. Cuidado con los elefantes. We almost, we almost got trampled by one. De hecho, casi nos pasó arriba uno de ellos. And um, he looked something like that. Pare se parecía a ese. They look very nice at the zoo, but when they're about to trample you, they can be very intimidating. Se miran muy bonitos en el zoológico, pero cuando están a punto de atacarte, no se miran tan bonitos. And here's some other wildlife of Africa. Y aquí hay otros animales salvaje, salvajes de África. The crocodile. Co crocodilo. And here is a, a normal house that you would see if you were out in the bush as we were. Y aquí está una casa normal, entre comillas, que usted miraría si, si estuviera en... en en las afueras de la ciudad en, en África. You can see that it's not as beautiful and clean and neat as it was in Norway. No puedes ver que no está tan limpia como la, la casa de los noruegos. But it's full of good fresh fruit. Pero está llena de fruta fresca. Uh, whereas Norway, the fruit was very expensive. Pero en Noruega la fruta era muy, muy, muy cara. And the... The people in Africa work very hard and they get very little for as hard as they work. La gente en África trabaja muy duro y les pagan muy poquito a esos africanos. You can see that they're carrying things on their head. Puedes the ver back? cómo están cargando cosas en su cabeza. From a very young age. Desde jóvenes. So you, um, you two young people, are you ready to start carrying things on your head? Ustedes jóvenes ya están listos para empezar a poner cosas en la cabeza. <laughs> Ready to start working hard? Listos para trabajar. <laughs> And the life of Africa, they're like one with the earth because that's what they have to work with. They, they do a lot of agriculture there. Y son uno con la tierra. Hacen mucha agricultura en esa área. And I'm talking specifically about where we were because we were there for three months and this is the life that we saw. Y esto estoy hablando de lo que vimos. Estuvimos ahí por tres meses en esa en diferentes áreas. There's another farm. This is, this is the area that we were staying. Aquí es donde estamos quedando. And the houses that you were see um, look maybe a little more modern because they were built by the missionaries. Y estas casas que usted mira se miran un poquito más modernas porque fueron construidas por, por misioneros. In fact, when, when we were leaving there, one of the missionary families was actually having a toilet put into his house and everybody was excited about that. Y uno de esos misioneros estaba poniendo un baño adentro de su casa y todos estaban emocionados por eso. Yeah. 